Hello everyone, this is Sala and you are watching tutorials on JavaScript. This is our tutorial number 7 and in this tutorial, you are going to get yourself familiar with a term which is called shadowing, right? Now, in order to understand the term shadowing, you must know how scopes implement it and work in JavaScript. So, make sure you went through the tutorial number 5 and 6. In tutorial number 5 and 6, I explained scopes in JavaScript and there are so many concepts based on scopes. And you won't be able to program in JavaScript and understand other concepts without having good knowledge of scopes, right? So don't miss tutorial number 5 and 6. Now if you remember tutorial number 6, which was our previous tutorial, we discussed block scope and we specified variables with the same name in different scopes. And we work with var and let. I choose var because of three reasons. Reason number one, I wanted to make you familiar with the keyword var. Reason number two, I wanted to show the problems associated with the war and the reason number three was I wanted to give you clear understanding about what block scope is and how it is implemented using the keyword let and constant right so we won't work with the war variable in our future tutorials we will continue to work with let and constant now coming back to the topic you notice in the previous tutorial we can specify variables with the same name at different scopes but we can't specify variables with the same name twice in the same scope or block. Let's now take a look at the program on the screen. We have a skip tag, which is the outermost tag, and it defines its own block or scope. Now, inside the skip tag, we have a function scope or block, and inside the function, we have a if block or scope, right? So we have nested scopes. And once you have nested scopes, then you can specify variables with the same name in different scopes. Like you see in the function block or scope, we have a variable count and the same variable is redeclared inside the if scope, right? So this count variable that we have inside the if block is different than that of the outer one. And when you have your variables in this way in JavaScript, then we say the variable in the innermost scope, like this count variable, which is inside the innermost scope, shadows the same named variable defined in the outer scope. So shadowing is a process where you can declare variables with the same name in different scopes. And when you do so, JavaScript mechanism gives precedence to the variable inside the innermost scope. And when you interpret this code in the browser, the JavaScript starts execution at the innermost scope. Let's say JavaScript executes this console log. So the JavaScript needs the definition of this count variable. And this count variable is defined in two different scopes, right? But the JavaScript prioritizes searching inside the innermost scope to find the first match, no matter whether there are other variables with the same name in the after scope, right? So if you run this code, then this cancel log gonna print count variable that we have inside the if block, and the result should be 20. And this cancel log gonna print count variable that we have outside of the block and the result should be 10. So because of the sharing, you are able to create variables with the same name in different scopes just like other programming languages. But I hope you wouldn't write code like this because it's very confusing. The purpose of this tutorial is to make you familiar with the term shadowing and how JavaScript treats the variable with the same name in different scope. But remember, you can't specify a variable twice in the same scope. Let's say if I redeclare variable count in the same scope like this, so this won't work, right? You can't have two variables with the same name in the same scope. Now I want you to try this one. Declare to war variable with the same name in the same scope. Like this. Now try it out by yourself. Run your program and check the result. Does your program complain on something or not? So that was all about shadowing variables and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.